You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on atheistrepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. Hi, this is Divya from India. India is commonly known for its spirituality and its belief in God as a nation itself. Still, I have become an atheist. I have become an atheist after reading E.V. Ramasamy, who is fondly called as Tande Periya here. I believe in humanity and not in God. It is not that easy to identify yourself as an atheist here. And more importantly, as a woman, a woman who identifies herself as an atheist is considered to be immoral or rather a bitch. That sometimes pains. However, it is true that there are uh, many people around here who are non-believers of God. I am happy to be a follower of Atheist Republic too. Thanks a lot. I used to believe in God. God don't exist. Only the devil. If that motherfucker existed, he wouldn't let so many goddamn good people go through hell and that the bad people have earth, motherfucker. God is real, you motherfuckers. Um, I had cancer, and I went to church, and I prayed, and then I was cancer-free the very next day, you pieces of shit. You fucking, you guys are fakes, you guys just want attention. Hello, good morning. My name is Pauline Tan. I'm from Malaysia, but I've been living in Edmonton for the past five years. And um, my story is a very long, complicated one. But the thing is now, um, well, I was an apostate since 1992, I believe, or 94. And um, I have four children there in Malaysia who are Muslims. My oldest son died. He's okay with me being an apostate, but he died. The other two have um, ostracized himself or ostracized me because their in-laws are hardcore Muslims. My daughter, she's okay with me. She's good. But the thing is, I don't want to go back and give her problem because she's a single mom of five plus. She'll be looked down upon, you know, and there were so many other things. I have actually overstayed, which unknowingly, like I said, is long and complicated. And my daughter here now needs me. She's from a Canadian father who ironically made me denounce, renounce Islam when he wanted to marry me and eventually abandoned us both by becoming a Muslim, marrying a Malay woman in Malaysia and therefore stopped supporting us or his daughter in the international school. So we were destitute and in trouble. So she came to Canada to study as an international student, but she's Canadian by right. So anyway, now she's in a high conflict custody case. Um, She's a single mom student and she needs me badly. And I've looked after her son for almost five years. And now with this high conflict custody case and the husband is threatening to deport me or he knows I'm going to have to go back soon. She will lose the case and she's distraught. So am I. But the thing is, I can't renew my passport. My ECLC or legal aid lawyer is helping me to apply for either TRP or HNC, but I can't afford both. So it was going to be TRP. But my passport is expiring in September this year, 24th. And the uh, Malaysian High Court refuses to renew it for me because I'm just a visitor. But the consular, I think, in Toronto, he's Chinese. And he said, yeah, I suppose they don't want to because you're an apostate and to them you're a bad girl. So he advised me to apply under refugee, he said, because it it is, you are actually considered almost a refugee because the repercussions when you go back, it's going to be tough on you. And I know that. But how do I do it? You know, that's what I'm so worried now. My daughter is scared that she'll lose me. My grandson is now scared. And I'm scared also to go back, you know. So 
I don't want to go back and make my other daughter suffer her five kids. And it's going to be tough because, you know, in Malaysia, like, I can't work either, you know, and there's hardly any thing that get no government body to help us. Even she is a single mom. She doesn't get any help at all. And she can't even get any child support from any of her husband, ex-husband, you know. So everything is against us. So can you please advise me what I should do? Can I apply under refugee status? Please help me. Uh, hello. Um, my name is Steven Khatebe. Uh, I'm from uh, South Africa, the Republic of South Africa. Uh, I'm so glad that I've joined uh, this group, uh, Atheist Republic. Uh, it is a privilege for me to have joined such a group because uh, such groups have opened our eyes uh they have broadened our our knowledge uh and and enlightened them all what i would say is that uh, since i am an atheist and uh, living in south africa i would want to see this knowledge emerge particularly towards uh, young people who are growing, because that's where the problem begins. When you are young, uh, religion is, is being instilled in you without your consent. So you do not make your own decision whether to be part of a certain religion. Uh, you are part of a particular religion according to geography, according to where you, you were born. So I would like one day that as young people are, are growing and um, they keep on searching information, they would find they would find this so amazing and fruitful to them uh, in regard to all religions, that religion is not what they should depend on. Religion is not, is not life. Uh, religion ruins people's lives. Religion mislead. And uh, religion doesn't uh, encourage or groom someone's morality and uh, ethnicity or ethics. So instead, they, they, they ruin your character and your characteristics. So being an atheist, I have learned a lot about being a, a good or a great humanity how we people on earth are supposed to be living. But uh, in concluding, I would say that uh, we are here to stay. Once you are an atheist, you will die an atheist. Mm -hmm. So power to atheism, mm -hmm. uh, where enlightenment dwells, so I just want to encourage young people to read more books, read more philosophical books, read more um, athe atheism books. That's where I, I, I got enlightened. That's where I, I, was, I was actually, what can I say? I was saved from this bondage of religion. So read more scientific books. You know, astronomy, uh, uh, physical science, uh, you know, so that at least you understand how the world and the universe operates instead of uh, being fed lies and 
things that are are not uh, worth uh, humanity fed uh, myth stories uh, fed uh, fables you know all those things come to understand the theism come to uh, to join the atheist society but you are not forced no one is forced you come on your own will at your own will you come Whenever you please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to atheistrepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.